At the end of January, I made a video about our, the state of the channel. Little did I know at the time what would a major event happen that would severely impact the small town known as East Palestine. I don't think people in Cleveland around here anyway knew East Palestine from East Liverpool. Back in 1986, our third season of covering high school football, we unwittingly had East Palestine as our one of our teams on back-to-back -back weekends. The first one was October 3rd. It happens to be Minerva's homecoming, and I distinctly remember the Queen Kathy Donara, I don't know what she is now, who she is now, maybe Kathy Donara Epps or whatever Mike's last name was, that's her escort. Interesting that a couple things that East Palestine took the lead. The Bulldogs had a 15 to 12 lead over the Minerva Lions at one point in this game. It was also a game that didn't feature any punts, a lot of turnovers in that driving or constant rainstorm, but there was one punt that went for 30 yards, but it was waved off due to a running into the kicker penalty on Minerva, which Bulldog head coach Bill Neat Meek protested should have been roughing the kicker, which was 15 yards. Glenn Moore threw three interceptions in that game, the last being a pick six that pretty much sealed the deal as Minerva won 25 to 15. So the following week we go to West Branch and it's their homecoming and Julie Hipley is crowned homecoming queen at halftime and the opponent happened to be East Palestine again. The game wasn't as, decide as close as the previous week. It was tied at seven but West Branch which was on on its way to an unbeaten season, defeated East Palestine 42-7. to And we got the thing, and well, East Palestine was an independent football program, apparently hard up on finding opponents, so the Bulldogs end up being homecoming feast for back-to-back -back weekends. In 1988, East Palestine joined the Tri-County League along with Columbiana, and both remain members of the are still league rivals along with Letonia, Lisbon, David Anderson, and Southern and United. There are a couple changes. They are now members of the East Central Ohio Athletic League, I think it is called. But East Palestine actually had to cancel its last regular season game of 2022 at Valley Christian. So now the question is, What's the state of the football program in 23? Are they going to have enough players to even have a football team? But I guess all that is just moot right now, considering what really happened a month ago in that community. So that's all we have to say about that. Um, I'm planning on doing a video, as promised earlier, I plan on doing a video, hopefully by the end of this month, I'll have a video about Dina DeLucos, a local high school student who, whose tragedy, tragic death, spurred a community to build a railroad bridge in her honor. If you like this video, Click on the like button. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our channels. And I have another channel out there with one video that I posted over three years ago.